Hey guys, welcome to that Florida feeling this week. Due to it being a holiday weekend and absolutely crazy in my life right now, I am just going to repost the moving to Florida episode. That seems to be the most popular. It seems also to be the one that everybody's interested in. So here's a repost of it. If you didn't get to listen to it the first time, here it is. If you listen to it the first time, send me a message on Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, or email and tell me if I got it right or wrong, if you currently live in Florida or something I've forgotten I can add to the next time because you know there's going to be a part two because Florida is always changing. I hope that everybody has a good, good Friday and a happy Easter weekend. Stay safe, guys. Please, please, please watch out for Florida man. Wear sunscreen, drink water. If you're in the snowy part, stay warm, drink hot cocoa. And I hope that everybody has a wonderful weekend, guys. Hey guys, welcome back to That Florida Feeling. Did you guys have a good week? Are you ready for Christmas? I'm not, but I'll get there. Thank you for everyone who participated in the Instagram and Facebook polls, questions. You guys are amazing, and apparently most of us live in Florida and like fall. I'm kind of glad that I'm uh, talking to like-minded people. It's kind of nice. Fall is my favorite, though. It's kind of that time where it's like everything's kind of chilled out, cooled down, and it just, I don't know, it feels like a new start, even though I guess that's supposed to be spring, but that's fall to me. Even though in Florida, fall is like one day, maybe. Oh, well. It still works for me. I get to wear my cute sweater one day. That's all that counts. So, did you like the uh, last episode on the Florida Keys? I thought it was a fun one. It was something nice to do. It's um, definitely a change in pace. Because, I mean, I feel the Florida Keys are that underrated gym in Florida. So, today I want to talk about something that I have a lot of experience in. And I've even got a special guest tonight. Um, Someone that I know very well. (laughs) Literally. And we're going to talk about moving to Florida. This is something that I've obviously done, as I'm not from Florida myself originally. And I feel that there's a lot of people moving to Florida right now. Uh, I I know that it... (laughs) So that's my special guest. Uh, Ignore him for the moment. I'll introduce him in a second. But I wanted to talk to you guys about moving to Florida. Because I know a lot of people are moving to Florida, especially from northern states. And... Sometimes it can be a little bit unexpected or not quite what you think about. But before we talk about that, I want to talk about something that I feel needs to be not said, but needs to be brought up. I know that the holidays are close, and I do hope that everybody has a good holidays. But if the holidays just aren't exactly what you hope they would be or want them to be, feel free to reach out to me. Say hi. I don't want anybody to feel alone. I don't want anybody to feel like they don't matter because you do. You really do. Um, There are people out there who love you and who want you around. Even if you don't realize it at that moment, trust me, there are. So if you ever get lonely or just want to say hi, find me on Instagram, Facebook. Email me at thatfloridafeel at gmail.com. Please reach out. That's, That's something I never want people to feel alone, especially during the holidays. I know that, like, it's an emphasis on being with people, but it's okay to not be around people for the holidays. It's really about making it what you want to make it. But if you do need to reach out to someone, please email me. I promise you, you really do matter. All right, now on to a lighter topic, and that is moving to Florida. So I'm going to introduce my special guest today. That is my husband, Matthew. Matthew, say hi. Hello. Wow, that sounded enthusiastic. Hello, how are you? Wow, still enthusiastic. So we're going to talk about moving to Florida today, and we have a lot of experience in oh. this. Don't move to Florida. Why do you say don't move to Florida? There's too many of us here already. There. Well, okay, aside from that, why would you tell people to move to Florida? It's beautiful. It's beautiful. What do you? What's your favorite part of Florida? The beach. Which beach is your favorite? Indian Rocks. Indian Rocks Beach. That's not an often yes, heard one. Uh, what do you like about it the best? There's not that many people. Well, if you just told people about it, there could be. Well, they won't, they're too lazy to come down here. So. Oh, oh, my gosh. You underestimate people wholeheartedly. So, obviously, we moved to Florida, what, eight years ago? About, a little yeah, a little over eight years ago at this mm-hmm. point. Wow, it's been that long. So, <clears throat> what is one thing you wish someone had told you? How expensive it was. 
to change over your driver's license and your registration. Oh, that is so true. Um, that was that was a lot. Uh, it was like four hundred dollars a piece. A piece. A piece. Yeah. So when we first moved from Tennessee to Florida back in two thousand thirteen, mm-hmm. gosh, it's been that long. Mm-hmm. We waited a little bit longer than you're supposed to to change over our license and our uh, what is it license plate. Driver's Re- title, registration. title registration. There it is. Thank you. Um, and it was it was a lot more than we expected. It was like four hundred and fifty dollars a piece, and I don't know why that surprised me, but it did. I mean, Florida doesn't have admissions testing, which is kind of cool because they had that in parts of Tennessee, but it was just a lot to switch. It was it was the registration that was really the big thing. It wasn't even that it was the license. It was the registration was like three hundred dollars, and I don't know if that's just something we blanked on, or we just weren't prepared for, or it we were used. It discourages you from moving to Florida. It it really kind of does discourage. How did you feel about it when we did it? I was upset. Why were you upset? It's a lot of money. Okay, but like, did it make you not want to be? No, in Florida? I want to be here still, but like, it's a lot of money just for a registration, just to drop on your car yeah. automatically. Yeah, but I mean, there's no emissions. That's... People ride bikes here. Oh, you're probably right. That is probably why people ride bikes here because the license is like a hundred bucks, but the car is like freaking three hundred. Yeah, they meant DUS probably. All right. Well, that's the untouched part of Florida we haven't talked about yet. But yeah, Florida's a little bit boozy. Let's call it what it is. But so when we moved to Florida, what else kind of surprised you? It was still cold. It was cold, wasn't it? Like, okay, so when we first moved to Florida, we moved to the Panhandle, and we moved to. Navarre, which, if you don't know where Navarre is, don't feel bad. It's a hidden gem of Florida. Stay it's... away. <laughs> he says stay away. I say go visit. Just don't move there. Um, although it's grown in the recent years. When we moved there, there was a Publix, a couple pizza places. Whataburger. Whataburger and a Taco Bell, and that was it. Mm-hmm. Which made it kind of expensive and kind of annoying to drive an hour on 98 into town, but... It was it was a fun experience. It was it was worth it for our first, but it was cold. We moved in o- October. Did we move in October? We had an ice storm. We did have an ice storm. It was yeah. So fun fact: Florida does get cold um, during the winter months. We actually had an ice storm in January. Was it January? January, February. January, February. Yeah, and it snowed and it iced and it shut the whole thing down because, I mean, Florida maybe has what one salt truck. If even. Mm -hmm. And they put sand down, which, let's face it, if you've ever driven in snow and ice, that doesn't really do a lot. And, but it was, it was so not what I expected. Because you think of Florida and you think of tropical and oceans. They shut down the Publix early. They shut down all the Publixes early. Mm -hmm. I remember that because we were both working for Publix. Yeah, Yeah, because I was driving down 98 to come get you and the cop stops me and I'm like, bro. I'm literally driving on ice. You cannot just like, hey, stop a person. Close down. We're, we're closing in an hour. Okay. Why? There's an ice storm. And then they what? And then they closed. They opened late. Closed early for like three days in a row. No, we closed early. We're closed a full day. Open late. Because we had inspections the day we opened late. Oh, yeah, because they canceled our... Uh, we said, no, go away, because we're not doing inspection. We just opened. They canceled my inventory at the store I was at. Mm-hmm. But, um, but yeah, that was surprising. We were living in Florida, this tropical paradise, and it's ice, like snow and ice. And I remember driving to pick you up that night when the cops stopped me, and there's just palm trees f- just falling. Icicles falling off straight suns. Yeah, it was insane. That's just not what we pictured for Florida. And then our heat went out. <laughs> our heat did go out, and that was insanely bad. The apartment complex finally got around to fixing it a couple hours later, but not before our apartment felt like an icicle. Mm-hmm. But it was, it was just not what we expected. You know, and we did move to the Panhandle, so you're talking lower... Georgia, Lower Alabama. Might as well live in Alabama at that point. Yeah, I mean, we're, yeah, pretty much Lower Alabama. But 
But that's not the part of Florida you think of. You think of lush palm trees, tropical breezes, margaritas, the ocean. Island boys. And not island boys. I'm sorry. No. Um, <laughs> but you think of you think of warmth, and it wasn't. I actually had to. It was freezing on Christmas Day. Do you remember jacket, that? We wore jackets to the beach. Yeah, we went to the beach Christmas Day because we were so excited for our first Christmas in Florida, and it was. 30 degrees and we're in heavy winter coats drinking hot coffee trying to take pictures and said screw it you know so i guess the first thing i would have to say about moving to florida is you probably have this great idea delusions of grandeur something in that line but it's not or at least parts of it aren't do your research definitely do Mm -hmm. your research uh neighborhood scout is a good one city data Wikipedia is even a good one. But what's something else that really surprised you about moving to Florida? Mine was the people. Like, I knew that there were snowbirds, but I did not understand, like, the massive amounts of snowbirds. Like, you see the memes that joke like, hey, after September, 20 miles an hour is the speed limit. Dude, that's that's the truth. But there wasn't that many when we moved originally. Now, so there is more so than the normal, like... Where's the worst place you think snowbirds where we've lived? Close to Dunedin, probably, or... Why the last? Fort Pierce, probably. I was going to say Dunedin or Vero Beach. Definitely the worst, too. <laughs> and and snowbirds are definitely a thing. Like, that's there's seasons in Florida. There's summer, spring break to summer. <laughs> then you get a break, and then you get snowbirds. And, oh my gosh, Naples. The snowbirds in Naples the are insane. The you move, the less seasons you have. That's true. That is definitely true. Um, and that's something else you got to realize that, like, like we don't own winter coats anymore because we live so far south in Florida now that... We got a hoodie and a flannel. Yeah, and most days, by the time you put on the hoodie, it's so warmed up that you don't even need it by the time you walk out to the car. But that's something else that I wasn't ready for. I wasn't ready for the amount of snowbirds because that really is a season. Like, And not only that, but you're busy. Like snowbirds are a force to be reckoned with in Florida. To waste. They do have money. Like oh my gosh, on top of the world, or top of whatever it's called in Clearwater, mm-hmm. that's that's that, a thing, man. That's probably the biggest shock was the amount of fifty five and up. Yeah, communities. and like, okay, well here's another thing that we can add to moving to Florida. That makes sense, though. The amount of, like, you, okay, I'm going to move to Florida, I'm going to rent an apartment, and then I'm going to buy property. No, you're not. Good luck. Most of it's 55 and up, and we're not 55 and up. The affordable ones. Yeah, the affordable ones, that's true. You know, $30,000 in repairs, or... What was it, $200,000 and the roof was falling in that one house we found? Mm -hmm. And that's, that's another thing you had to be prepared for, like... HOAs. Yes. God, everywhere in Florida has HOAs. Oh my gosh. But but honestly, okay, so I can say Florida is affordable until you factor in the rent. Would you not agree? Pretty much, and adopting animals. Yeah, the animal fee is insane here. Um, which, I'm sorry, side note, rant. If you're going to charge me for a freaking cat that pees in a box, but you're going to let a toddler run wild and color on the walls without a fee, yeah. I'm sorry, that's just... It's a cat. It literally pisses in a box. In fact, if you hear me right now, you probably hear one of my cats dig into China. But that's just annoying. Like, okay, a dog, all right, maybe, fine. I guess there's a fee for it, but it's it's a cat. It's not going to eat your vinyl blinds. Worst case, it's going to just smell it up with a litter box, but not... Yeah, but then that's on you for changing it. Mm-hmm. All right, sorry, side rant's over. But that's that's literally the thing that I would really warn people about is... The rent is not cheap here. Not at all. And the further south you go, the worse it is. Mm-hmm. I mean, so St. Augustine was about $1,000 a year ago. Now it's up to like 1200 for a decent place. Tampa is probably fourteen to 1500 It was like 8 to 9. Yeah, it was 8 to 9 ago. two years ago before COVID. But like South Florida is like fifteen to sixteen, And this is all a one bedroom with two cats. So, that's really something you've got to factor in, is that, one, Florida jobs don't pay as well as other places. Or they buy yourself a sugar mama. Okay, thank you, baby. Um, but no, that's one thing you've really got to factor in, is that rent's not cheap here. 
And if you're going to have cheap rent, you're either going to have a couple roommates or you're not, you're going to be double locking your doors at night. And that's really something that people don't understand. You're not going to rent a place two miles off the beach in walking distance for cheap. It just doesn't happen. Most of them are 55 and up condos, HOAs, or timeshares. And that that's Florida in a nutshell is that it's it's not cheap. Um, HOAs will kill you. Yeah, the HOAs will kill you. $300 minimum most places. And that's really something I wish that we had really understood before we moved here and was like we're gonna move here we're gonna find a house (laughs) it took us four years to find a house and then that was almost a disaster in itself it was a shithole no house wasn't that bad the area was Mm -hmm. psa if you think you're gonna move to central florida for a cheaper house definitely investigate the city you're moving to not all are created equal and there is definitely a newer house yeah definitely get a newer house And that's the other downfall is buying a house in Florida is that a lot of the newer houses are really expensive and kind of cheaply made. I mean, that's what we found. Mass production. Yeah, it is mass production. You're not wrong there. Oh, you know what another thing I wish somebody had warned me about Florida? Spring breakers. That's a thing. Depends on the area. It does depend. But, like, when you see people acting out asshole-ish on adult content. I'm sorry, guys. Um... When you see people acting idiots on spring break, that's not Floridians. We know when to avoid the beach. That's the people who come here and ruin it for the rest of us. And I'm not saying don't come to Florida to move or to visit, but like, act like you've been somewhere. Wouldn't you agree? Get ready to be... (sighs) You're going to see these people. There's no way to avoid... like. You try to avoid, like, oh, I'm not going to do this because these people are here. Just, But then it, like, disrupts your whole yeah, day. there's no avoiding it. And if you go into a Publix, a restaurant, a bar, a shop, those people live here. Be nice. Don't be a jerk. Right. Like, and that's, oh, do you remember when we lived in the Panhandle and, like, stuff shut down for months? Mm-hmm. I was not ready for that. That's another thing. Like Restaurants were shut down for three to four months. Yeah, they would literally shut down from like November, December to like February, March when spring break started. Mm-hmm. It was the weirdest thing. And even though technically that snowbird season, they were just like, were nope, south. we're out. And so that's another thing. You really, really have got to do your research on what part of Florida you move to because Again, some parts of Florida have seasons. Snow happens here. Ice storms happen here. It gets cold. But then there's parts like where we live that's a little bit further south that's... You might have a cold day in, like, November. It's and then chilly, but... Again, in, like, February. Mm-hmm. But you're not wearing your winter coats. You're not wearing the cute Ugg boots. It was 80 degrees yesterday. Yeah, it was 80 today. It's... It's what, 7 o'clock? No, 9 o'clock at night? Almost no, 9 it's o'clock the at night. The, the 10th? Yeah, it's the 10th of December. It's almost 9 o'clock at night, and it's 80, 70 outside. Mm-hmm. You know, and that's another thing you have to prepare for is that the further south you go, the more hot and humid it is. By plenty of deodorant. Yeah, by lots of deodorant. Take lots of showers. Oh, I wish someone had told us how the mold grows here. Yep. That's just an insane thing. Is like, it's humid here, and run humidity. AC at seventy-two. Right? Yeah, you got to run your AC. You're literally almost year round because mold, and that's a thing, and that can hurt you. That's worse the further south, though. Yeah, it is. I mean, of course, the more humid it is, the more chance you have mold of growing. But like, that's not something that I realized okay. that we're gonna have to literally combat mold daily. Keep your keep your air running. Keep your fan it really on. Depends on the building too. If it's a, I mean, yeah, shoddy built, yeah, complex or apartment complex or house or whatever, you're gonna have issues. Yeah, but just in general, like it feels like it's a weekly thing almost. Mm-hmm. Like mold is a real thing in Florida. Like, humidity is a real thing in Florida. By Benadryl. By Benadryl. By Benadryl. <laughs> Fair enough. All right. Fair enough on that one. 
What's um okay, what's one thing that you really liked moving to Florida? Like what was your favorite thing about moving to Florida? Being on my own. <laughs> okay. Uh Okay, other than being away you from... Want to, you want an honest that, answer? All right, that is an honest <laughs> answer. Florida does definitely give you an escape, but what's one... If you're one, not around, you just... Here you go. Have at it. Okay, yes. When we first moved to Florida, we moved eight hours from family, mm-hmm. thanks to Publix. Mm-hmm. And yeah, it really was... But also, we met some of the nicest people in Florida. Mm-hmm. Oh, side note. Don't drive on the sand. If you're not prepared for it, you will get stuck. It's not a good look. It's it's not a good look. Um, people are, people are usually nice if you do such idiotic things, but yeah, I can't imagine who would have done that. It's a bad um, look for you. <laughs> but no, I mean people and people are really nice in Florida. I mean, if you do decide that Florida is a new place to get a start, chances are you're going to find some really cool people mm-hmm. and some really cool places to go. Um. I can honestly say one of the coolest places we went when we first moved to Florida. Do you remember what it was? Nope. It was that um, barbecue shack on the intercoastal. Navarre. Yeah, in Navarre. Mm-hmm. It was really cool, and, you know, you go enough, and people get to know you, and it's kind of feels like family. Was the pizza place that was the slices as big as your forearm? Oh, place. what was that, pie? Yep, pie in the sky. Pie in the sky in Pensacola. Gosh, that was, it was like three or four bucks for this slice of pizza that was as big as my arm. If I can find the picture, I'll post it on Instagram. But, I mean, but you do. You find some really cool and interesting places. And the the coolest thing I thought about Florida was that there, I mean, okay, yes, there's a lot of northerners that transplant. But there, there are things cool like diners. There are a lot of diners in Florida that are just really cool. Old folks like breakfast. They Old folks do like breakfast. And... I'm getting there. I would make a South Park mm-hmm. joke, but you know what I mean. Um, but yeah, like there's there's lots of things that seem normal in Florida that you don't get everywhere else. But also in Florida, I can find really good pizza. I can find amazing Mexican. There are the best Greek food near Dunedin and Tarpon Springs. Stiff drinks. Absolutely stiff drinks. Great coffee shops. It's kind of like a melting pot for moving here. We got we definitely got our eyes opened as far as like just dealing with like different kinds of foods and so different stay away. You're telling people I think they're gonna come no matter what. Um What's something else you wish someone had told you about Florida before you moved? It's just the expense. It is expensive. Yeah. I mean, I'll give it to you, like, but I can definitely, the cool thing, though, is, yes, rent's expensive, we already covered that, but there's no food tax. Or you'll never want to wear shoes again. Yeah, you don't, the flip-flops are totally a thing now, um, but no, back, there's no food tax, and I didn't realize that until I went and bought, like, one thing, and I was like, this is nine ninety five, and they're like, your total is nine ninety five, and I'm like, but tax, and they're like, no, you don't have tax here, and I... Did not know that. I mean, you're taxed on, like, sodas and prepared foods. foods, But, like, if a donut is 69 cents, you're probably going to pay 69 cents. If, yeah, all right, bad choice of number. I'm sorry. Thank you. Thank you, Quagmire. Um, But, you know, there are things like that that, yeah, rent's expensive, but there are other things that add into it. Like, there's really low sales tax. There's no food tax. Thanks. It, all evens out. it really does even out. Um but definitely be prepared because the jobs are plentiful in Florida, but I can't say they pay the best. I can't say that the pay here is really worth some things you Depends go through. Work. I mean that is true. Mm-hmm. That is I'll give you that one. But I don't know, I just I feel like after living in Tennessee and living in Florida that the pay is just not equivalent to the rest of the country sometimes Mm -hmm. but so that's some things you've really got to think about you've got to think about how much your rent is are you gonna have a roommate is your pay worth it and don't think you're gonna go to the beach every day we thought that it doesn't happen it really doesn't like oh i'm gonna live oh yeah that's true too don't go every day and wear sunscreen Wear sunscreen. That is something I wish somebody had told me was that... Yeah. You will get burned. You will get burned through your car window. 
you will get burned when it's cloudy. Um, that's definitely something that's real here is that it's really easy to get a sun tan and burn in Florida. That's not a joke here. So be careful of that, especially someone like me who's dealt with skin cancer. You've really got to be careful. That's not a joke. That's not something you really want to mess with, especially with, not younger in life. And with drivers, too. The drivers. Oh. paying too much attention to something else or. Yeah, the drive. Look at that. Driving in Florida is a bit of an issue. Painful. If the light turns green, count to 10. Then go. I guarantee you everybody else is doing the same thing. Um, oh, gosh. Especially in South Florida. South Florida is wild. People run red lights like it's no tomorrow. People run red lights like just crazy. And, I mean, Clearwater was kind of the same way. At least yes. in Largo. That was painful. <laughs> that was painful. Um, by the way, side note. If you ever are coming up on a yellow light stop like it's don't don't run that don't run a red light as someone who's been t-boned by a person who wasn't paying attention that's that's not okay when the light turns green don't just assume somebody's not coming through yeah that's true that's the whole count to 10 and then go because it was a bad day a couple years ago for us um we survived somehow but be be cautious of your fellow drivers because they probably don't see you, or at least not like you think they do. Oh, something else that's really cool about Florida, and maybe, well, yeah, you probably feel the same about this. Um, Some of the fresh food is better, like the fruit. Mm -hmm. The fruit definitely seems fresher here in the vegetables. Citrus. Cit yeah, citrus is definitely, obviously citrus is a thing. Citrus is one of the top exports of Florida. And you got your Plant City strawberries. Plant City strawberries, definitely. Mm -hmm. Um, no, I mean, but, but all the stuff that comes out of like Paro Farms and Naples mm. and like all the fresh food, fresh food in Florida is really good. And there's so many farmers markets because mm -hmm. literally there's so many farmers in Florida that it's, it's kind of nice. Um, you can go get fresh. I mean, it depends on the season. Um, strawberries in season in Florida are definitely bigger and juicier and a lot better. Citrus, actually citrus is coming into season right now in yep. December um, because this is our cold, quote unquote, cold time. But, you know, and that's the cool thing about Florida is that you actually get fresh food almost year round. We have a festival. We do have a plant. Strawberries. Hey, Plant City Strawberry well, Festival is kind of cool. That's how big it is. Like, you have a festival. Yeah. For strawberries. And people line up in droves for fresh, like, strawberry, strawberry pie and just. Oh, and the, oh, the strawberry shortcake is big. Yes. <laughs> but are you really going to talk about that being the person who won a strawberry beanie a couple years ago? Yes, ma'am. Okay, just checking. Don't be jealous. I'm not jealous. I wear it. Um, Don't be strawberry jelly. I'm strawberry queen. What are you talking about? Mm -hmm. But, I mean, but that's really the, that's another cool side, small side note to Florida is that there's so much fresh food and, and so many farmer's markets and somebody just stands, like, just driving down the road. Hey, fresh watermelon. I've never seen so many meat markets in my life. Oh, that's true, too. Random. Especially. So, I don't know if a lot of people realize this, but, like, Central Florida is farmland. And there's a lot of good meat markets. Um, Max and Greens and Winter Haven. Mm -hmm. both, well, is, is Greens in Winter Haven or Auburndale? Greens is Auburndale. Max was Winter Haven. Those are two of the best meat market and fresh. And you, you can it. see them, like, dressing this cow. Guys meat market in uh, Fort Pierce. Is it? Yeah, it is it's Fort, Pierce. Fort Pierce. In Guys. And then there's one in Palm Harbor. I can't ever remember the name of it, but it's on 19 North. We were in Clearwater, too. We went to I don't remember the name of it. North of... Was that the Chicken Thaw Place? The nope. Chicken Thaw Place. Nope. That was a good place. And there, but there's so much, I mean, just not even, okay, so not fresh fruit, but like, yeah, fresh there's food. just food in general, like mm -hmm. fresh fruit. And then, and of course there's a Publix on every corner. Stay away. <laughs> ah, the BOGOs aren't that. Oh, side note. If you ever go to a Publix in Florida, BOGO means BOGO. You, um, both. you have to get them both or you're still paying the full amount for one. So it's a waste of money not to get both. That was a big thing. Cause like in Tennessee, like you want a BOGO. Half price. Yeah, if you just want one. Nope, you gotta get them all here. Yeah, because it's mm. truth in advertising. 
So if you ever come to a Publix that's in Florida, go ahead and get both because you're still going to pay the full price for it. That was that was a change because, like, I don't know. I don't need BOGO french fries every time. I don't need, Bogo, I don't need two BOGO fruit salads. It'd be oh, yeah. 99 cents. No, you're getting both of them. You better eat them. Yeah, so uh, the, away, pi- the pineapple, that's what's... Too much. Uh, you got five days, but that's that's a lot of pineapple. I feel that's a challenge. I will accept, sir. Right. Um, but, but these are the things that you really don't realize is that Florida's kind of its own little... Mm-hmm. Like, it's wild here We're sometimes. It is a different world, and it's a melting pot. Stay out. <laughs> he says stay away. I say come at your own cost. Um... Although I can say the one thing I did enjoy, and I can go back to it, is the food here. Because there is so much of everything. Uh, West Shore Pizza. Delco's, where they have Philadelphia Eagles fans all the time. Uh, Mugs and Jugs has a Philadelphia Eagles fan thing. I'm sorry. You Make guys sure. can probably tell I'm an Eagles fan. Make sure you got money, though. That is the thing. Yeah, some of these places are a little bit expensive. Or eat early. Or do the snowbird thing and eat. Lunch or brunch. Or eat early, yeah. Go at the certain times. Special. Early bird special is totally a thing in Florida. Old country cafe. It's kind of, oh my god. Country thank buffet. I was like, thank you, South Park. You going to close it down and mm-hmm. screw up all the AARP people? Mm-hmm. Um, <laughs> sorry, guys. South Park reference for those of you who get that. Um, but really, I, I wish that someone had told me that Florida really is its own thing. Mm-hmm. And I think someone did try to warn me. Haley. Remember Haley at Publix? Mm-hmm. She told me that Florida is a different kind of place. And I, I don't think I ever got that until I moved here. And then moved away and came back. You really do. Like, Florida is this. When you're here, it is hot. It is humid. There is so many people. You don't understand why mosquitoes come out of nowhere. It never stops raining some days, but when you move away, you God, it. you miss it. It is the magical land of pub subs, alligators, citrus groves, Disney World, theme parks, and everything in between. And you just miss it. It really does kind of suck you in and hold you here. Don't look at me like that. We're still here, aren't we? <laughs> I'm doing a podcast on the state, aren't I? Um... But that's really something I felt like... I I know that there's a lot of people... I mean, we've heard about it on the news. A lot of people are moving around. COVID's really giving people this idea. And I I don't blame you guys if you say, screw it, I don't want to do this job anymore and want to go somewhere new. Fresh starts are always appreciated by anybody. But I feel that there's a lot more people coming to Florida now. Home is home. Yeah, home is home. No matter... It's where you make it. It's not necessarily where you are. Um... But I really wanted to talk to you guys about moving to Florida because it's obviously something we've done. And it's something we've done a couple times and moved around the state. And by the way, not all parts of the state are created equal. Uh, Northern Florida is nothing like Central Florida is nothing like South Florida. So if you go from like Navarre to Orlando, buddy, you're in for a shock. But that's actually the cool part of Florida is that you get to experience all these different things and meet all these new people. And yes, there are pockets of northerners in certain parts of Florida that are a little bit heavier than others. Pockets? Okay, I said pockets. He's Plenty. He said plenty. Well, are you just jealous that there's more Eagles fans here? No. No? Okay. Yankees fans. Hey, hey, hey. Yankees in general. Hey, Yankees did nothing to you. It's not my fault you didn't win. They beat the Braves several times, so... Uh, as you can tell, also, I'm a Yankees fan. Which, by the way, it is seriously fun to go see spring training in Florida. That's another cool thing. That's probably the biggest... If you don't live in Florida or Arizona, you really are missing that... The spring training. The spring training. You don't realize how fun it is until you go. You really don't. You can just... You're paying 10 bucks a person to see a major league watch, game. They're just go see them practice. Oh, we did. We went to we the went Yankees. To the Yankees practice. You're like, oh, oh, they're, they're they're there right now. Let's go. Oh, we're watching a scrimmage. Yeah, that was actually really fun. We got to go into the Yankee Stadium, buy a beer. Well, Steinbrenner Stadium. Steinbrenner, sorry, yeah, not Yankee Stadium, but Steinbrenner Stadium in Tampa, off Del Mabry, and watch the Yankees scrimmage, and it was free, and we paid. 
probably way too much for a beer. But we did it. And but then you go to like if you're in Tampa, you can see the Yankees, you can see the Blue Jays in Dunedin, you can see the Phillies in Clearwater. Sarasota's There's a, a team in Sarasota. Um, go, is it really Rays? I don't remember where they go. Um, you can go across the state and go see the Mets in Port St. Lucie. You can see, uh, you know, and that's that's really the cool part of Florida is, do you remember going to the Braves game in Orlando when Disney still had it? That was fun. You know, they're for, they're in, Are they in Port Charlotte? Port, Port Charlotte, North Port, somewhere else. One of those things. But, but that's the really cool part of Florida is that because it is warm, you get to see these teams before it's 90,000 degrees outside and you're sitting in an unair conditioned open stadium going, why did I buy tickets for this? But that's that's another really cool thing. And Florida really does get behind its sports teams. Mm-hmm. The Bucks, yep. the Rays, Is, the Lightning. Eh, when they win, Florida gets behind their sports teams. You don't hear anything about, you know, the Bucks fans get into it when the Bucks are winning now, especially. With Brady, yeah. The Lightning, when they're winning. Yeah. Magic never wins. Magic. Dolphins never win. Like Now that, hey, hey Dolphins are around. winning right now. Yeah, they've they've turned around their season. But it's still, like... But well, they, they're fair weather fans. The poor heat. Well, they're diehards, but they don't. The, the poor heat. They now that publicize, we have once LeBron. LeBron left. left. But them. but that's but but I'll be honest. Florida has some diehard fans. Come win or lose, they're fans. I remember a couple of our friends before Brady got there. They were diehards Buck fans. And then it gets worse when they get a winner. Well, yeah, okay. Just remember, if you're gonna be a fan and you're gonna be that fan that's been there for forever, kind of like Roger. Rest- I wasn't calling out nobody. I was going to say, like, us Eagles fans. Well, yeah, all right, fine on that one. But no, like, us Eagles fans who were a fan for forever, and then we finally won one series after 50. All right, yes, I ran around the neighborhood (laughs) screaming my lungs off that the Philadelphia Eagles won the Super Bowl. I don't care. Do you know why? Because it might never happen again. Few and far between. Right? Well, okay. All right, how many of yours won? How many? How many? What am I talking about? This ain't a. That Carolina feeling. Well, that Carolina feeling <laughs> sucks. Is it a bear or a cat? <laughs> it's a purr. One of your players asked if it was a freaking bear, <laughs> sir. At least who's, mine, you know it's an eagle. Who's that bear? Um, sorry, side rant. But but these are the things that you really have to consider. You have to consider jobs. You have to consider rent. You have to consider, are you going to like it here? Steadiness of a job. Yeah, that's true. Your likeness of a job. That's true, too. Anything else? Your tolerance of different employees. Oh, by the way, of all different. Florida is a melting pot. Yes, you will work with some interesting people. You will work with a mixture of people. Um, if you are not a people person, Florida might not be for you. If you are a racist, Florida may not be for you. Yes, I actually have to get, agree with that. Like, I know there are some towns here that that well, still there's some terrible stuff. But- yeah. No, just, uh, that's the other thing. If you, if you decide to move to Florida, you really need to investigate what town you're going to. If you are closed-minded, stay away. That's true. No, that's, I've been joking about it, but no, if you're closed-minded, just don't, like... Florida's not for you. Um, if you don't, if you're homophobic, Florida's not for you. Unless you want to move to South if you're Iowa. If you're transphobic, Florida's probably not for you. If you're racist... Certain parts of Florida are definitely not for you. If you're um, a racist and you want to move to St. Cloud, you're probably in a good shape. But wow, you went there. Um, but but these are the things that you have to consider. You know, there are still parts of Florida that have KKK meetings. I actually saw one. I drove past one last summer that blew my mind. Um, there are parts of Florida that you know don't like gay people. There are parts of Florida that don't like Southerners, that don't like Yankees, that don't like everybody you can imagine. And you have the complete opposite. Yeah, I mean, and you have those open communities like St. Pete is amazing. Their pride parades are great. Miami. Miami is just for anybody that wants to be there. Uh, Orlando. Mm -hmm. Love Orlando. They really accept anybody. Um, But you really, that's another thing. You really have to be aware of where you're moving. Know your crowd. Know your know how you feel, because chances are you may not like it if you don't fit into that crowd, and chances are that crowd's gonna not gonna give a shit. Stay away from pace. 
Oh, God. Pe- stay away from Polk in Pasco County. Yeah. What a pace in the panhandle. Were they racist? We got some unsavory characters that live there. <laughs> Look. <laughs> I like Chad. Chad doesn't count. Now, if you were talking about another Millhouse looking fella, mm-hmm. that's fine. Stay away from He's him. A dweeb. He is such a dweeb. All right, sorry. Um, but no, these are things. Like I remember, we were, remember we were driving to Panama City, and so oh, got sketchy. Even even as two as a late twenties, early thirties white couple, I don't belong here. Yeah, and it's all redneck fellas. Like, yeah, like, I don't. I don't belong here. And we're from Tennessee. <clears throat> so get in the car. Yeah, like we're from. Okay. Tennessee. We have the accent. We we can blend in with some rednecks just fine. Not this place. But there are even some places here that I don't feel comfortable. Shut, um, the, shut the pump off and get in the car. And that did happen. We actually got really kind of ran out of a gas station. Thank you. We don't know you. We don't know you. You're not from here. You don't belong here. So that, I guess the real warning about Florida is know where you're going. Yes. Know where you're going. No. Alabama, though. That was Alabama. Was it? I thought it was right yeah, inside was, of, of it Florida. It was close. It was at the state line. Um, But really know where you're going. Know where you want to belong. Know where you want your community be to be. Definitely be aware of your surroundings, guys. Um, There's terrible areas everywhere. Some places are just far more concentrated. You want to be on the podcast, Momo? Sorry. Yes, the parents. Uh, you're not going to have another cat appearance like last week. <laughs> I still apologize for Butterfinger. Uh, but really, guys, like, just... If you want to come to Florida, that's great. I applaud you. It's a fun place. It's home. It's... Culture shock. It is a culture shock. Some of my best friends are here. But... You know, just be aware of it. Make sure that this is what you really want to do. There are things that I wish people had told us. Again, like the amount of money it took to move our car licenses and titles here. Uh, The rent. Gosh, I wish somebody had really warned me about the rent. And just the amount of different kinds of people. Like, Florida really is the place that everybody's moving to. And so you really have to be aware of these kind of things. Um, Mm -hmm. But... All in all, I mean, I say if you want to come to Florida, it's definitely a that Florida feeling. You're more than welcome to. Um, do you want to add anything else before we? No. Stay away. Okay, he he doesn't mean it, but um, no. All right, so thank you, Matthew, for being on tonight. Um, I hope you guys have learned some valuable information. It's kind of another one of my different kinds of guest appearance. This is what, you know, we want to talk about this week. And I felt that this was relevant, especially with all the people trying to move to Florida. In fact, we just met a neighbor who moved from California. I think that's fantastic. But just be aware of what you're doing before you do it. Make sure this is something you really want. Visit. Yeah, definitely visit first. And don't visit and get drunk at a bar. But, like, actually visit. Go into the Walmart. If you ever want a true feeling of where you're at in Florida... Please go into the Walmart. That will tell you way more than you ever could read on Neighborhood Scout or City Data. Twice on two of them. Oh, two God. Walmarts. Two, yeah. Walmart. Should have known better. Y'all, Walmart doesn't lie, especially in Florida. Yep. But, so thank you for listening. I hope this was informative. Or not informative, but at least funny. Uh, we'll have another fun topic next week. It'll probably just be about me by myself. Um, If you have a second, please leave that five-star review on Apple or Spotify. It really does help get the podcast out to other people. Again, guys, if you're feeling lonely or you just want someone to talk to, please reach out to me. Uh, Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, uh, Gmail. I appreciate you. I value you as a human being. Not just because you're a listener, but because you are important as a person. So please don't feel that. Please reach out if you just want to say hi. I will promise you I will write back. Thank you guys for listening. As always, I will be back next week with another fun topic. Maybe lighthouses, maybe Tampa, who knows? And that's your daily dose of sunshine. That's your daily dose of sunshine, guys. Bye.